Make haste. Now then, the crystal. I'm guessing the way is locked. Well, I guess it's a good thing somebody has keys to the whole fortress. You're no better than a burglar. Our time. Hopefully Biggs and Wedge both made it to safety. Who and who? Our train drivers. And soldiers. They can fend for themselves. So, where'd you guys park the regalia? Outside. Though park ain't the right word. She's broken down, alas. Took one for us. Saved our lives. Does seem kind of keen on the ring. So we fight him? Take mercy. Nothing the four of us can handle. Just the thing. See what we came for. One hell of a hangar. Huh. Look at all this space. So the central elevator's through here. And out of the loading bay. Your Majesty, your precious crystal awaits you. To liven things up, I thought I'd take you on a stroll down memory lane. Of course, memories decay with time. Huh? <laughs> 
Sorry end for the High Commander. For anyone. He was a man with hopes and dreams. Ugh. It's horrible. What kind of fiend makes demons of men? Look alive! Company!
Biggie's right. It's our only chance. But what about you? No manage somehow. Just get moving. You will still get to the crystal if you went on your own. Your friends will have to stay alive. Dear friends are still alive. Those who died for you, do you ever wonder what went through their minds? Can you even recall their final words? I'll come back for you all. I swear. How far does this go? Crystal had better be here. Everyone's counting on it. Counting on me. Your journey is over, Noct. I gave you my name earlier, but you should know that it was not the name given to me at birth. Arden Lucis Kylum is my proper name. You'll never guess his name is any of us. Killing his mortal will bring me satisfaction. Play my crystal's power. Arise as its champion. Only once the crystal and the king are known.
Umbra. Be waiting. In Hammerhead. I out. <sighs> Where'd everybody go? Demons everywhere.
What is it, boy? Something's coming. A truck? Ah. Uh. Yeah? It's me. Uh, Talkit. My grandpa served the Amasidia family. Talkit? Yeah. No way. Yes way. Welcome back, Your Majesty. Yes, sir. That's... that's right. Huh? Uh, just a second. Um... Said he wants to have a word with you. He can have it in person. He said you can have it in person. Okay. Uh, we should be there shortly, sir. Wow. I can't tell you how good it is to see you again. Yeah. You sure look different, though. You think so? Guess I've grown some these ten years. Ten years? <laughs> The guys must be pinching themselves right now. Where are they anyway? Lestalem, more often than not, but they take a lot of trips to Hammerhead. For? Uh, for Miss Cindy. You know, back at the garage. She's a tough one, but uh, when she needs a little extra muscle out on the road, she gives him a call. Huh. Oh, uh, speaking of which, the guys said they're near Hammerhead right now, so we'll be meeting them there. You know, ever since you disappeared, Your Majesty, it's been nothing but nighttime non-stop. Lestalem still has light thanks to the power plant, so just about everyone's taken refuge there. Only there? Everywhere else has been abandoned. Demons moved in, forcing the people to move out. People still swing by the garage at Hammerhead from time to time, but it usually isn't for repairs. These days it's less of a service station and more of a slayer station, a base for demon hunting. The garage is still open, though one of the few places that is. So, um, Sid, he's still alive and kicking. <laughs> he's kicking all right, just not as hard as before. He hasn't really been himself lately. At least, not since he moved out to Lestalem. Someone suggested he move the garage there, too. But old man Sid wasn't having it. He called it a big, fat, chocobo turd of an idea. Said it just wouldn't be the same anywhere else. That sounds like Sid, all right. Miss Cindy said she didn't mind either way. So the garage will probably stay put for a while. And without any tinkering to do, Ignis's gourmet seafood is about all Sid has left to look forward to. With all the demons prowling around, more folk were getting hurt. Or worse. So Iris talked the marshal into taking out the demons themselves. Iris the Demon Slayer, they call her. Gladio and the others, they lend him a hand whenever they can. Prompto spends most of his time hunting around Hammerhead. He tries to impress Miss Cindy, but she's already married to her work. And Ignis? He hunts, too. We tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. He said, if anything, he's more used to the darkness than we are. Never got his vision back. I'm afraid not. But that being said, he gets by pretty well on his own. Gladio and Prompto usually hunt on their own as well. It isn't often you see the three of them together nowadays. They still work as a team every once in a while, but each has his own set of tasks to keep him busy. Is that so? We've arrived, Your Majesty. Everyone will be so happy to see you. Don't worry, I won't be going anywhere. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask.
that's all you have to say for yourself after all this time? <laughs> Knocked! It's you! It's really Is you! It? I hadn't realized. Well, well. You kept us waiting. Not like I wanted to. We've got catching up to do. Let's head inside. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. Oh, right, uh, about the Empire. Huh. Gladio brought back word that both the Emperor and High Commander were dead. With those two gone, Niflheim pretty much fell apart. Yeah, figured. I'm more than happy to tell you, we've even got some former Imperials fighting for us. The toughest of them said she used to lead a band of mercenaries. Aranea? So you do know her. Well, not surprised. The Marshal said she was feared far and wide back in the day. But now she's revered among the Lucian masses. Same with her men, Biggs and Wedge. Each of them leads their own small army. <sighs> That's great. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. The Chancellor's still around, though. In Insomnia. <laughs> Nobody who saw him had any clue what he might have been up to. But their stories piqued Ignis's curiosity. I ended up helping Ignis look into the matter, digging through old records, even joining him on trips to the royal tombs. Royally roped into it. <laughs> it's cool. I'm a bit of a history buff myself. But we did discover something pretty weird. Huh? While we were poring over all those ancient texts, one name caught our eye. Ardens. Apparently he was hailed as a savior, healing all those who were ravaged by demons, only to end up branded a demon himself. A dubious charge, I'd say. By all accounts, he was just as human as you and me. Huh. I'm more than happy to tell you everything I know. On the bright side, we've come a little closer to understanding the demons. And? You see, I'd always thought they were animals. Only more hideous and savage. But it turns out they're just ordinary people. Unlucky folk infected by something or other that transformed them into monsters. There's no known cure as of yet. So death is the only mercy. I'm more than happy to... We've got a lot of survivors pouring in from Accordo, too. What with all the demon attacks there is of late? Not like it's much better here. Lestalem's practically overflowing with refugees from Insomnia. The Empire's recovery assistance fell by the wayside, and demons overran the city. Thankfully, Iris and the Marshal managed to evacuate the civilians. Now there's no one left, except the demons. I spent my childhood in the Crown City. It's sad knowing it's gone, you know? Not for long. Well, uh... <sighs> I became the king to reclaim our home, and now I'm back, as promised. All these years and you remembered. You bet. I'm more than happy to tell you, Your Majesty. Do you remember my grandfather? Yeah. There's something I wasn't able to tell you back then. Grandpa died because of me. It was my fault. An Imperial officer approached me in town, asked if I was from the Crown City, and that was just the beginning. What brings you here, young man? You didn't come here by yourself, did you? Oh, your grandfather's a butler at a manor. How very grand. Oh, he rubs shoulders with the royal family. You must be ever so proud. I answered him without thinking. A little after that, the man showed up at our hotel. Talcott. Think what you will of me, but please know that Grandpa didn't give you away. Listen. Yeah? You're not a kid anymore. You should know by now what happened that day wasn't your fault. None of it. <sighs> you know, it's hard to ask someone about their pain, but... It's just as hard to share your own with someone else. I appreciate you opening up to me. And I swear, I'll make things right. But believe me when I say, nobody blames you. Not me, 
not your grandpa. Trust me, you have the king's word. I suppose you're right, your majesty. Thank you. Safe travels, your majesty. Hey. I'll see you later. <laughs>